Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in Maya. Well, I received a question whether I could model a, um, a battle axe, a low poly battle axe, right? So that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. So we're going to get started. Let's grab a polygon cylinder. Hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. Let's go in here and let's set this to a subdivision level of six. All right. Then from here, what we're going to do is we are going to um, grab these faces. So right click face, everything except the top. And then from here, we're going to go to edge and double click. Control E to extrude. Tweak the offset to something looking like this. And then we're going to right click at a face. Hold on the tab key. Select these guys and delete them. And this is going to be our starting point. Okay. Now from here, we're going to go and select this guy. We're going to hit control E to extrude, give it some thickness. And there you have it. Jump to the top, right click vertex, drag select this guy, hit W, hold on X and put it down here. Grab this guy and put it down here. And again, keep in mind that this is going to be a low poly axe, right? Okay, we're going to grab these two. We're going to hit R. We're going to flare them out like this. Okay. And then what we're going to do next is insert edge loop. Come on. Insert edge loop. And we're going to go to multiple and one which we'll put one smack in the middle and we'll put one there and one there. And let's do one more. We don't want to make it too low poly, right? Okay, cool. All right, so now that we have that, we're going to jump into this view. We're going to right click at a vertex. We're going to drag select these. Let's try that again. Drag select these. Hit W, push them out like so. Skip one, both sides. Skip one, both sides. And there you go. And then on the back here, what we want to do there is take all of these and hit R and kind of push them into not exactly a point, but something like this. All right? Okay, cool. Now, um, as far as this section is concerned, that is uh, doable for a low poly piece, right? Next up, we're going to go and put in the handle. So for that, we'll take another polygon cylinder. We'll hit W, we'll move that up. We'll hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. That's actually already open, looks like. Set that to six as well. All right. So we're going to make that fit. Hit W, move it down, and that should be a perfect fit, of course. All right, and we're going to hit R to stretch that. W to push it down. There you go. And then on the top here, what I want is to flare that out a little bit. So we're going to go to right click. And we're going to hold on tab and select these. Control E to extrude. Let's tweak the offset. Out and up like this maybe tilt it a bit then e g to repeat w to push up and r to flare out again right so that would be the top and we can take the whole thing and kind of push it down a little bit if we want like so and then from here we're going to go and grab these faces minus these faces. Push that up. All right. We're going to tilt them a little bit like so. And then we're going to hit extrude W to push down. Kind of move them over here. G to repeat W to move down. And still move them over. G to repeat. W to push down. Move them over slightly less. 
D to repeat again, and W to push down, and E to rotate a little bit, G to repeat, W to push down, and again, E to rotate a little bit, G to repeat, W to push down again, and we're going to start to push it in this direction. Repeat again. G to repeat again. And now we're going to start to come back. G to repeat one more time. We're going to flare this guy out quite a bit. Let's go to edge. Double click, flare out a little. That looks a lot better. That's cool. Uh, let's see, anything else we need to do here? Uh, yes, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go in here to face. Control E, R to scale in, and then uh, G to repeat, W to pull out, and we're going to hit R to scale that in. Kind of a little uh, pummel, right? Then we're going to double click on this guy, we're going to bevel, just to give it a little bit more shape let's go to object mode let's bring the whole thing up a little bit okay next what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of a wrap to it and what we can do is uh, grab this face right here control e to extrude let's tweak that offset a little bit not too much let's do uh, 0 0.2 and then we're going to grab some thickness and we're going to very slightly rotate it all right then we're going to go in here do the same thing control e slight tweak of the offset not too much and then the thickness and kind of tilt that a little all right do it again control e tweak the offset a little bit tweak the thickness tweak the angle right and then uh, let's have a look that looks uh, okay and then what we can do if we want is to um, add some rings right so that would look something like this we'll take a torus the W and the torus is fairly high poly for this kind of thing let's see if we can make this work eight by eight Alright, so we've got 8x8, eight eight. we're going to go in here and we're going to hit W, we're going to move that in. We're going to move that up, move it over here, and we're going to kind of tilt that so it will look something like this, like a cross wrap, right? So hit Control D, E to rotate, hold on J, flip it back, so we'll get something like this, and then kind of push it back in here make it slightly bigger I think that will work better right so I'll take these two 
And the W will move that up and out. And then with control D to duplicate, W to move down. Move that out, move it up. And I'm wondering whether we should do one more or not. I do know that I want to put a point on this thing. So let's do that. So we're going to go to vertex and we're going to take this guy, push it out. Take these two, push it out. Uh, I think that point is pretty cool. Let's leave that in there. Right. I mean, it's a battle axe, right? So, um, yeah, not bad. Uh, what I do want to do is add some damage to this blade. It's a little bit too perfect, right? So let's uh, take a chip out of it. So we're just going to grab one of these and kind of uh, add some damage to it, a little chunk out of it. That may be a bit much, right? We still want to see the overall shape here. So let's do this. Yeah, maybe something like that. Not bad, All right? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, let's see what else. Um, yeah, the final thing we can do here is add a little strap to it, okay? So um, the way to do that, not that complicated, is we'll take a polygon cylinder, we'll hit E to rotate, hold on J, flip it on the side like so, hit W, move it out, F to frame, R to scale, make it nice and thin, get rid of all the stuff in the middle. So there you go. Then we're going to take this guy, we're going to scale it up. So hit R, hit W, move it in here, move it down there. All right. We're going to hit R, we're going to kind of push it in like this. Then we're going to hit E to rotate it, W to move. After frame, let's hit R and kind of make it a bit thinner like so. And then what we're going to do is go in here to vertex, hit B on the keyboard for soft select, hit W, kind of get something looking like this, right? Move the whole thing back a little bit, like so. Control E to extrude. Turn off B. Let's do 0 0.1, which looks good. And then we have a strap to hold on to that, right? So, um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. And, um, yeah, I think as far as low poly is concerned, uh, it can work. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you've got any questions, let me know. If you have any uh, requests, then also let me know, right? mhtutorials uh, at hotmail.com. So that's mh-tutorials at hotmail.com. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I love to see you guys in the next one. Bye.